Okay guys, welcome again. Today I want to talk about the Switch Network device and give you fundamental information about Switch Network device and you will understand what the Switch mean and how does it work. Okay, a Switch is a device in a computer network that connects other devices together. Or a Switch is a high speed device that receives incoming data packets and redirects them to their destination on a local area network. As you see in this figure, multiple data cables are flagged into a switch to enable communication between different networked devices. Also switch is a layer 2 device. The layer 2 switch is also sometimes called a bridge. Switches manage the flow of data across a network by transmitting a received network packet only to the one or more devices for which the packet is intended. Switch has MAC address table. Each network device connected to a switch can be identified by its network address or MAC address, allowing the switch to direct the flow of traffic maximizing the security and efficiency of the network. We will talk about the configuration of switch by detail in the next episode. Now you can see the MAC address table of this switch. See, there are 5 MAC address in this table. Also switch is full duplex, it means at the same time can send and receive data. Switches are similar to HAPS device, only smaller, or a switch is more intelligent than an Ethernet HAP, which simply retransmit packets out of every port of the HAP except the port on which the packet was received. HAP device unable to distinguish different recipients and achieving lower network efficiency. A hub simply connects all the nodes on the network with many collisions. A switch, on the other hand, creates an electronic tunnel between source and destination ports for a split second that no other traffic can enter. This results in communication without collisions. A switch is multiple collision domain. What is a collision domain? It means a collision happens when two separate devices simultaneously send a packet on the commonly shared network segment. The packets collide and both devices require sending the packets again. That helps you to reduce network efficiency. For example, if a collision occurs in this port, only this port will be affected. The other ports will work normally. As you see in diagram, four ports of this device are currently connected, which means that four collisions can occur at the same time. Every port on a switch is in a different collision domain. Simply, a switch is a collision domain separator. This helps us during designing networks. But there is still a problem with switches. They never break broadcast domains, which means it is not a broadcast domain separator. All the ports on the switch are still in a single broadcast domain. If a device sends a broadcast message, it will still cause congestion. Switches may also operate at higher layers of the OSI model, including the network layer and above. A device that also operates at this higher layer layers is known as a multi-layer switch. The network switch plays an integral role in most modern Ethernet local area networks. Switches are similar to routers as well, but a router has the additional ability to forward packets between different networks, whereas a switch 
is limited to node-to-node -node communication on the same network. The LAN switch has one primary job to forward frames to the correct destination MAC address. And to achieve that goal, switches use logic based on the source and destination MAC address in each frame's Ethernet header. A switch can forward the frame or traffic as a broadcast, one to all, multicast, one to many, and unicast, one to one. LAN switches receive Ethernet frames and then make a switching decision either forward the frame out some other ports or ignore the frame. To accomplish this primary mission, switches perform three actions. 1. Deciding when to forward a frame or when to filter, not forward a frame, based on the destination MAC address. Two, Preparing to forward frames by learning MAC addresses and examining the source MAC address of each frame received by the switch. 3. Preparing to forward only one copy of the frame to the destination by creating a layer 2 loop free environment with other switches by using spanning tree protocol or STP. And we will talk about this layer 2 spanning tree protocol by detail in the next episode. As I said, Switch is an intelligent device and forwarding known unicast frames. To decide whether to forward a frame, a Switch uses a dynamically built table that lists MAC addresses and outgoing interfaces. Switches compare the frame's destination MAC address to this table to decide whether the switch should forward a frame or simply ignore it. For example, consider the sample network diagram with PC1 sending a frame to PC2. In this figure, PC1 sends a frame with destination MAC address, as you see, PC2's MAC address. The switch compares the destination MAC address to the MAC address table, matching the pole table entry. The match table entry tells the switch to forward the frame out port 502 and only port 502. A switch's MAC address table is also called the switching table or bridging table or even the content addressable memory or COM table, in reference to the type of physical memory used to store the table. A switch's MAC address table lists the location of each MAC relative to the one switch. In LANs, with multiple switches, each switch makes an independent forwarding decision based on its own MAC address table. Together they forward the frame so that it eventually arrives at the destination. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share the video with your friends.